Let's talk a little bit about rebar placement in the case of a column. So you can see here I've got a column in 3D. Here's a section view and here's the elevation produced by this section, right? You can see if I pick this, it highlights in all views. So let's say, for example, I want to place a rebar, in this case, a ligature, right? So first of all, you can see I can just change my diameter a little bit, maybe M16s or R16s, come into here, and at the moment, I've got it set to the current work plane. Now, in this section view, the work plane is right. So if I click here, you can see we end up with a ligature um, placed in this particular instance, right? So let's escape that. Let's delete. Oh, let's leave that. Um, pick the element rebar. Let's place another one. This time, instead of picking current work plane, I pick the near cover, all right? Come into here. Again, you can see it, it highlights. When I create it, it says that it can't um, create, you can't see the visible elements in this view because of the depth of the section. But you can see the near side, because I'm looking in this direction, the near side cover is the bottom of that column, right? And likewise, if I was to repeat that again and choose the placement to be on the far cover, again, come in here and pick, you can see I end up with a ligature at the top. And this is sort of, and this is always working parallel to the current plane, of course. So let's pick a different shape, for example. So let's pick this column again, choose to place rebar in it. This time I'm going to place um, uh, an open bar, if you like, or a U shape, right? So we already know that if I was to go parallel to cover, I will get a bar at where the section view is taken, because this section view is taken here. One thing you can do when you have, obviously, if you move towards these edges, it will try and adjust the bar or rotate the bar. But if you're just in one place, you can also hit the space bar and it toggles through the different faces as well. So that's another tip. Using the space bar to toggle for orientation is very, very important. If I change um, from my um, parallel to the work plane to parallel to cover, because I have cover all the way around the outside, you can see that it's now placing the U shape in relation to the nearest cover face that I'm picking. So if I move to this face, it's going to try and place that bar parallel to that particular cover, or vice versa on the other face, or here again, or here again. Um, again, using the space bar, and it's, it's probably not very obvious, but if you have a look, can see the bar on one the, the return going down on one side hitting the space bar then orientates it around um, in relation to that particular face so again making sure you use the space bar or moving your mouse to the nearest face then gives you different capability of placing those rebar as well um, and then obviously when we're happy we would just click here and you can now see if I hit escape, I've got the bar placed in here in my particular rebar. So I'm going to talk a little bit about rebar placement in slabs now. So if I pick my slab and choose to place some rebar, and for the moment what we'll do is we'll concentrate on straight rebar, right? So you can see I have my slab here, I've got a section view of that slab and 3D view, and I want to work with two scenarios, right? If I choose, so I want to do the near cover reference, which is the near side of my slab. And I want to go parallel to the cover, right? So you'll notice that when I come in here, all I see is my rebar sticking straight at me, right? Um, again, in this particular case, the spacebar allows me to toggle that, right? 
Now remembering that I've placed the rebar on the near cover face. So in my level one floor plan here where I've got my slab sitting at that level, I've placed the rebar. And you can see over here, um, it's placed the rebar on the near side cover. If I place the rebar again, instead of using near side cover and use the far side cover this time, again, spacebar, place the rebar, you can see it's placed it on the other side. Um, this is important to remember because when you place in rebar, then you can determine whether you're placing on the top plane of the slab or the bottom plane of the slab. Right? Um, obviously, I'm only placing singles here at the moment, but still, it's 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 uh, interesting to remember, or it's important to remember that space bar is that toggle. Again, if I choose to choose the rebar, choose the straight one, instead of choosing a single bar, um, I can choose a fixed number of bars for placement, um, the maximum spacing between bars, the number and spacing. So, for example, if I want to do five bars at 100 millimeters again you can see if i zoom in here i've got five bars at 100 mil space bar and now i'm placing those five bars in the bottom plane or the bottom cover of the slab giving me the ability to control where i want to place it if i then switch to the top cover and let's say we switch it and place it here you can see the bars already appearing um, in my model or in my section view, pick OK, and well, as soon as you click on it, you can see the bars have appeared, and you can see them here as well uh, in in the three D environment as well, just in simple line diagrams, right? So you can see how placing the bars is important. Remembering that um, when you place the rebar, um, let's grab that slab, let's grab the rebar thinking about which plane we're working on when it comes to slabs and making sure we're parallel to the cover if that is what we're wanting to achieve. And remembering to use the spacebar to toggle between the different directions for the bar.